Hey, what's happening, everybody? It is Sunday afternoon. Time for another episode of Still Hadn't Passed Your Expiration Date, being thrifty or 50. I'm your one host, Jason Thrifts. Hey, I'm Peg. Hi, gang. How are we doing tonight? What's going I'm, on, everybody? Woohoo. It's kind of chilly willy in Ohio. <laughs> it's actually, uh, <laughs> I, I would not dare say chilly over here, but. Uh, yeah. Cooler than usual. <laughs> yeah, uh, 79 right now. Oh, yeah, we, uh, well, we, some places had hail today, <laughs> just to give you an idea. Hail? And, yes. And like we were only like around 50 degrees today, maybe, or maybe a little more. There is snow in our forecast for this Wednesday or Thursday, so we might get a few Why more. Why do you live there? Uh, that's a good question. Especially as Why we do you live there? <laughs> especially as we get older. Um, it's sitting around the pool playing cards weather here. Yeah. Oh, thanks for that. I get my... my my other son just gave me a hair haircut and a dye job today. I was so behind, like two weeks behind. I look like a shaggy dog. So I, I just said, cut it short. Mom wants it short. So that was done today. I shaved my head this morning. Good for you. Nice and fresh and clean. <laughs> Let's see. Update on dad. I know there's a lot of people asking in the chat. He has not had a really good week, you guys. And, and the sad thing is he's got surgery again tomorrow. So we have to be on the road by 5 a.m. as his surgery is around 7 or 7.30 tomorrow. Um, they are going to be operating on his lower back uh, to help hopefully uh, relieve the bad leg syndrome that he's got. He's got the dragging leg on the right leg. So we're hoping that, um, you know, that will rectify it. He's going to need some uh, physical therapy to go along with the surgery. And I guess he's going to be in a back brace. So, you know, um, yeah, yeah, I see it, Beck. I know. Uh, so yeah, so we're we're still facing um, a lot of recovery time in this household. So it's going to be long and drawn out, and I just hope he's okay. You know that this will fix him, and he'll start to feel better because he's he's really been down and out, pretty bad. Depression. He's going to slip on the yeah. snow when he's coming home on Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So that's been kind of a bummer. People always but... say, "I'm the hike, live in Vegas." You know what? Yeah. I've never <laughs> once slipped on the sunshine, nor had to shovel it. No, ever. I know, I know. Ever, I know. That's what AC is for. That's what yeah. pools and AC is for. So I, I'll keep you all posted. Uh, you know, I, I will keep give you an update um, as things progress. We're hoping they only have to keep them overnight, uh, one night again. But, you know, we'll wait and see how, how everything goes. So I've been down to that hospital. The hospital's in downtown Cleveland. And from where I live, it's about a 45-minute jaunt. And um, so we had to be down there on Monday and Friday and now tomorrow. And then back, you know, to pick them back up, to bring them home. So I'll be glad when all that part of it is over. And I'm sure dad will too. You know, it's, it hasn't been fun. You know, just not, not a good day. But let's go to some good news. Let's talk sports. I got some right. sports. What, what, okay. what you got? Well, I got a couple of things. We got Browns. Browns made a hefty uh, signing this week. Uh, and I'm not for sure, for sure how to correctly pronounce this gentleman's name, but I think it's J. 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 Devon. No, I can't pronounce his first name. J. Devon Clowney. Anyways, he's a defensive, and uh, uh, him and Miles Garrett are two former number one overall picks, Jason. So our nice. defense our defense is shaping up really, really, really good. So, you know, uh, that, that looks to be really uh, impressive for the Browns, so we're excited about that. And uh, talking about the Cleveland Indians, um, the tribe today, uh, Shane Bieber, who's our ace uh, starter, um, he is the first pitcher in history – to ever record 10 strikeouts in the first four starts of a season. And he won today. So, yeah. So the tribe's doing pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. But guess who's in last place? <laughs> this is, you know, I have to do this because we hate the damn Yankees. And they are, in the <laughs> they are in last place right now. And, you know, they've been a thorn in Cleveland's side for a zillion years, ever since I was a little kid. We always talked about those damn Yankees, you know, because they're always so good. But right now they're in last place those so, damn yankees yeah you know so yeah so some some kind of pretty good news in the in the cleveland area you know so yeah and that's cool all right all right so let's, get get to it. let's talk about feedback because yeah. let me tell you it's amazing to me the uh the people who live in the past when it comes to ebay feedback <laughs> Now, discussions don't happen on the thrifting board of Seeker Beach, but I, I wander in and out of other Facebook groups where they're like, I wish we could still leave feedback for buyers. That was 10 years ago. Yeah. Join the rest of us in 2021. Whether you like it or not, it is not changing. That's, the that's amount of wasted energy uh, 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 talking about that still 
<laughs> I wish they would bring back the Pony Express. Yeah, right, right. You got to roll. Life moves on. Move yeah, on. Absolutely. Totally. All right. So, but things have changed in feedback. So that's why we wanted to talk about it. Plus, mm -hmm. uh, let's see a show of hands in the chat right now. How many of you have never automated your uh, automated automated <laughs> your <laughs> feedback for your buyers and or how many uh, have no clue that you can do that? That's the big question. How many yeah. of you uh, don't know you can do automated feedback? Meaning once the buyer buys it, I automatically leave them feedback. I never have to do it physically. Right. Now I have to say, if Jason hadn't shown mom how to do it, I, I would not have known. So, you know, uh, he, he got me along that path quite some time ago, actually, Jason. Wow. A lot, a lot of you guys haven't done it. Yep. Oh, my gosh. What a, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I'm going to try and say it's the nicest way possible. What a waste of your time. Yeah. Set yeah. it and forget it. And, that, and that's what you don't, you know, you just, you put in, you know, as we'll show you, you just put in something nice. And hey, uh, since Marianne actually went the extra mile, Marianne, why do you still do it by hand? Why waste that time? Yeah, that's precious time. Do you have a microwave? Don't ever <laughs> use it again because that's the same thing. Not everything <laughs> needs to go in the oven or on the stove, you know? Yeah. Manually. Oh my gosh, you guys. Are you guys who are doing it manually still cutting and taping your labels on? I mean, we're trying to automate you to give more time in your day. That's right. I haven't written a feedback in maybe Oof. 12 years, uh, you know, uh, as, as the seller. Yeah. I think you got mom signed up almost right after I started selling, if I'm not mistaken, because I've never gone in manually ever. You Isn't know? it the best back? I mean, when anything you can automate, anything you can make quicker yeah. anything that can take the time away of doing it do it i mean yeah. think about this you use a washing machine you could go down to the river and scrub your your clothes on a rock yeah but you don't because guess what a washing machine was way quicker way quicker yeah we got some positives in there though there's been some that have been doing it for quite yep. a while but you know jason if you hadn't told mom i would not have known that it was available i mean some of these things you know you just don't know <laughs> so you know, it, it's it's nice to be able to have a teacher <laughs> teach us and show us how to do it because, you know, you just don't realize that it's there. All right. So let's do that first. Then we're going to talk about the change to feedback because I think it's a good change. Now, if you watch other YouTubers and other people who lead Facebook groups, oh, my God, again, you think the sky was falling. Right. You think it's the end of times. The apocalypse is here. Oh, my God. People can leave 500 characters feedbacks now. All right. But let's we'll get to that in a second. Yep. So on your uh, seller hub, your feedback is right here. And boom, look at that. Makes it nice and easy. Manage automated feedbacks right there. Yep. Right there. Mm -hmm. All right. So we click that little handy dandy thing and you just check it off. Now you have two options. Leave automated feedback when the buyer pays for the item, which is what I do. Because look, punishing buyers and holding out on feedback is a silly Poor customer service practice. The right. buyer has one job, to give you money. Once they've done that job, thank them for that. Thanks. Thanks for giving me money. Thanks for yep. allowing me to live in the house I live in. Thanks for allowing me to drive the car I drive. Thank you. If there's a problem later on, then I deal with it. Right. But I never, I've never looked back since the day I automated it. Uh, but you also could do buyer has paid for the item and left me positive feedback. So those are your two options. So right here, you click uh, edit store comments. And man, I haven't changed these in 100 years. So I might, uh, let's add a couple. <laughs> Me too. I've actually look at mine. <laughs> so here they are. And what it does is eBay goes and grabs one at random. So it doesn't pop the same one in every single time. Uh, what do we got here? 10 spaces. It'll grab one of the 10 at random. Uh, and hmm, I wonder if they updated this to hold 500 characters. Uh, what, what, do I, what have I said here? Uh, thanks. So much for your purchase. Purchase. Uh, please check back often for new goodies. Okay, we do have a question, Jason. Uh, Janet wants to know where do you find manage automation? I just showed you. Yeah, she would well, do it again if you can. All right, right here in Seller Hub, you go down to your feedback. Oh, come on, slow eBay. Yeah, I know. Uh, 
So scroll down to the bottom here. Even though we all can set up our SAR hubs a little differently, you just got to find the feedback and then click on Manage Automated Feedback and then Edit Stored Comments. Uh, your purchase made my day. Okay, Angelique had the, almost the same question. Thanks so and much. I, and I think that they've got it, I think, because she wanted to know where is the automated Facebook located under. It's under... Go to your feedback section and just go down. Uh, I'm confused. Bottom. Aren't I showing this? I think so. But <laughs> I know. I... <laughs> now, now, Diane says, I don't have the option for automated, not showing on Seller Hub. Hmm. All right. Let me see how these comments here. Okay. So is your, okay. So those of you who say you don't see it, you, you're in Seller Hub. Yes. Is that a, tell me if that's a yes or a no. Yeah. Because you have to be in, in the hub. That is, this is the most bizarre thing that everyone doesn't have it. Now, Don Terry also says mine does not have that. So when you go down to your feedback. Right there are those little blue things where it says leave feedback or manage. Do you guys not have that? Huh. Well, that's a stumper. How, how, how can that even be possible? Hey, can someone who doesn't have it send me a screenshot of the uh, feedback section real quick in your seller hub, please? Yeah, we got another one. Um, what did I just see? Leanne doesn't have it. Okay, then Kent says it's under automation preferences on the left side. Automation preferences. On the left side, uh, he says. It, and, and the one, uh, one says it could be the level of the store, Jason. That might be. Uh, is that tied to the store? All right. So here's automation preferences. Let's click on that. Julie just sent me a picture. Okay. Huh. All right, Julie. So what store do you have, Julie? Tammy sent me a picture. I am just flabbergasted. This is weird. The basic okay. store level doesn't have it. All right. So that's what it is. Yeah. So that means yeah. you guys are our basic store level or lower. So there's another, there's another thing, reason to have a store. Yep. Brian found it. Good. All good, right. Good. So that's it. If you don't have a store now, those of you who don't have stores, like I'm going to pop up Deborah here. Deborah, how many items do you have listed right now? And so now that there's so many different store levels and they've really increased um, the listings, why don't you have a store? Because I would think unless you have less than 20 items, we all should have one kind of store or another. Plus you get things like automated feedback and shipping supplies and Terapeak. Look, Terapeak's worth the price of admission at, at, at alone. To get, a, to get to the store level with Terapeak, that is worth it right there. Okay. Did Deborah come back here? <clears throat> Brian says you need Selling Manager Pro to have automated feedback. So I guess that just comes with the uh, bigger store levels. Yeah. So, if but I, I truly thought that they had kind of done away with Selling Manager Pro. Hmm. All right. Okay. We're still going to talk about feedback, but apparently you got to yeah. have. Okay. So Deborah only has 20 right now. Too funny that that was the exact number I said. I just pulled that out of the air. Uh, but yeah. Okay. So you're still fresh at it. Um, but uh, where you want to be, Deborah? That's the next question you got to ask yourself. All right. Are you going to be one of those people that just has 20 because you do this a little bit in your spare time? That's great. There's nothing wrong with that. Are you going to move up? Are you going for 100, 200, 500 items? Uh, so yeah, don't jump at the store when you only have 20. But if you're going to start to build, if you're going to add another 20 this week or another 30, it's time to get to that first starter store. And then as you go, you tick up. So if I go down to a basic store, am I going to lose my automa automatic uh, feedback? Well, I guess that's what we're all learning right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Right. So we're going to have to all find right. that so out. Those of you who can do it, mm -hmm. there you go. 
Man, that's crazy. I didn't even realize that I was because man, when I look at that, you know, what they offer in the store level, I didn't realize that was ever a thing. Okay. Yeah, well, we learn something new every day, including myself. That's right. Yeah. That works, you know. Woohoo. Okay. So, but that's how you do it. Uh, I, I probably put, I'll probably figure out uh, three more. And that way there's a good random randomness coming from me to, uh, to the out, outer world. Okay. So let's look at my feedback here. Uh, let's look at this number right there. 100%. Now, one of the things I want to talk about today is, have I had no negatives or neutrals in the last year? And I have, I've had a few, but look. There's not here anymore because it's how you handle it is what dictates if they stay or not. So here is the big, um, the big key to this. If they're not reviewing the product, if they get personal, if they're reviewing the, uh, what happened after the product got delivered, uh, like it got stolen, that has no bearing on you. So when you get those negatives or neutrals, you can call eBay. Now, when you call eBay, call with the facts, no emotion. But here's a negative I got this year. I am so sorry that someone got their stuff stolen. But if you got your car, if they, the person got their car stolen, are they going to be mad at the dealership? No, but that's what they're doing. So I called in. I said, hey, I'm very sorry this customer got their uh, package stolen, but I have no nothing to do with that. And right away, eBay expunged it. So you can when it's you know when it's okay to get uh, them removed you can get them removed if someone just doesn't like your service uh without getting too personal like if they call you a jerk or something that's easily removed but they're like if they're like seller was too show, slow to ship and you were that ain't getting removed right but they're like this effing a hole that'll be removed so fast <laughs> Thank you, Ann. I didn't know that. I did not realize yep. all that. So, uh, hey, we learn something new every day. We certainly do. Yes, and that's the other thing, too. It is worth trying to get it removed. Sometimes eBay won't remove it. They don't agree with you that it should be removed, and so move on. But give it the college try, and then if it don't work, it don't work. All right, so uh, before we get into the new thing, Mom's got some uh, uh, talks. We're going to talk about the change, the, the change that just happened. Okay, uh, I don't know how many of you saw the email that came out on March 26th, but it, uh, they did say that feedback between sellers and buyers is a crucial part of keeping eBay a trusted marketplace. Uh, starting next week as part of our continuing journey to improve the eBay experience, we're increasing the character limit for feedback. Previously, we had the 80 characters. Now they bumped it up to 500. This will, yeah, this, which is good. This will apply when you leave feedback for buyers, receive feedback from buyers, and reply to buyer feedback. You'll see the increased limit, whether you leave feedback on desktop, mobile, uh, web, app, or, or the eBay app. Make sure you have the most recent version of the app to see the increased character limits. And why do you need more characters? That's what everybody seems to be asking. Well, but, there's times... But, right, but, but here's what I say. Who cares? Well, I know. I don't, I don't care. I mean, who, that's who great. Who cares if somebody wants to leave an 80 yeah. co comment feedback or a 500 comment feedback? Now, let's take a look. Now... Is anyone listening right now live? Hi. Hi, everybody. Good to see you all. Mm -hmm. uh, that didn't know we went from 80 to 500. Is, is this news to any of you? And right. the reason I ask is because we do get those announcements <clears throat> and emails. So if you didn't know, if you just found out, that means you're not paying attention to the announcements and to your emails. And you definitely should. You definitely should. Because when changes yeah. like this happen, you need to know. Someone today said, hey, Macari gave us a longer title. I haven't listed on Macari in two weeks. I'm like, wait, when did that happen? Yeah, see, it, it does. I mean, you can miss things. We're all so busy. And, you know, sometimes when I zip through my emails, I don't catch all of it. All right. So although we're not really talking about this, Stacy, how can you never use Terapeak? I mean, I, on the daily, on the daily. You know, when I pull up a rare, C, a rare CD, I look at what's happened in the last 90 for sure. But then I go to 365 because maybe the last 90 is a fluke. Maybe it's really worth $20 more, or maybe it's really worth $20 less. I got to see the whole year. Now, I don't do it on every single thing, but there isn't a day that goes by where we don't use therapy. So yeah. definitely. And, you, and you're not alone, Stacey. Every time when people say, I can't find it on eBay in the thrifting board, I go, did you check therapy? Oh, I always forget. Yeah, Holy crap. That's you like saying, I always forget I got a bathroom. That's why I poop out back. <laughs> what? 
But it took mom a while to get into that habit, Jason, because you kept saying, did you check therapy? Did you check therapy? I kept saying, no, no, no. But now I've gotten in the habit. When we come back from our, our, our sourcing outings on like, if we go out on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or whatever, I will, the things I'm not too sure about, I go right to therapy now, even, even ahead of eBay sometimes and start looking there because they seem to have a little more information, you know, uh, for, for pricing. So, yeah. So, Lisa, I don't understand. What would confuse you? When you look at eBay solds, that's 90 days. When you look at Terapeak, that's just 365 days of eBay sold. So that's one year. So where does the confusion come in? Do you get confused at eBay solds also? Because it's the same thing. It's just a longer window. Yeah, I mean, all you do is type in what you're searching for and then just go down and yep. and see and, and see what, uh, what what's available. All right. So, so uh, let's look at my first long feedback. All right. So here, here's uh, my most recent three. I bought a CD today that I'll be reselling because they, they listed it horribly mm -hmm. and they just left two words. Thank you. Yep. yep. Uh, bought this Tiki magazine that Stacy and I were in. I'm going to give it away as a prize later on. Thank you so much for your business. I hope to see you again. A, 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 exclamation point. <laughs> and then this was the CD I shared on Thursday night on 30 business. Great CD wrapped nicely for shipping. Fast delivery. Thank you. Yep. <clears throat> But oh, look at this long one. Oh boy, look at this. Absolutely perfect in every way. Great, safe packing and shipping was so fast. It was love at first sight. And I knew I had to have this tiki mug to add to our collection. I will definitely keep an eye on this store because I know there'll be other items I must have. And I know I will get a fit, I will get fabulous quality service and items. A plus, A plus, A plus, eBayer. Thank you. Nice. So there we go. Yep. Now, here is where it's good. Okay, lean in. Here's where it's good and beneficial to you. What I figure is this. If people who are a pain in our ass, and there are customers who are paying their ass, they're few and far between, but they are out there. If they now have 500 characters, they are going to trip up so bad when they go to write out that thing. And they're going to be, it's going to become a personal attack because they don't have to, they don't have to contain themselves to 80 characters and it'll be way easier to expunge their BS. Yeah. That's what I feel because when you only got 80 characters, you got to be really like, what can I write? When you got 500, you just start flowing. And next thing you know, this negative you really didn't deserve has got all kinds of uh, personal attacks and stuff. So I really think on the long run, it's actually better for us sellers to get rid of unwarranted negatives and neutrals. Excellent. Okay, so uh, to follow up with Alisa, I saw what she wrote back. Where to go? Okay, you mm -hmm. guys are chatty tonight. Good, good to see everybody. Oh, absolutely. Okay, are you sure it was sold in the last three sixty five? Yes, because just because you got an item doesn't mean there's been one sold in the last three sixty five. Right. I have it tons of CDs that didn't show up when I was working on my show for last night. Yep, exactly. I mean, there there are times when you won't find the item, so you just have to be ready for that. And, and there is a little bit of a gap. So if you see something sold, like say in the last two hours on eBay, it isn't in Terapeak yet. So you got to wait a little bit. Plus the other great thing about Terapeak is maybe this is, I mean, we were talking feedback today, but we'll move over to Terapeak for a second. Um, when you take something that took a best offer, just copy the title and paste in a Terapeak. It'll show you what the best offer was. Easy peasy. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Okay, so it's a Swedish teapot. Are you for sure that that one has sold in the last 365 days? Because if not, then yeah, you're not going to find it, no matter yeah. what word you use. Yeah, it won't be there. This is the feedback I got from the horse lamp I sold recently. Excellent double boxing for an unusual item. Superb care around fragile limbs. Fast shipping and tracking number provided. Trust this seller. See? We yeah. get really fun feedback, so no. don't look at it as a negative. Yeah, see, so that's why. Uh, so don't let it confuse you, Lisa. It just no one sold one. So if you got one, that seems like yay. No one sold one. Now right. it's time to sell. Yeah, so now put a better price on it. <laughs> if there's not any out there that have been hell, sold, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what other little uh, facts and figures did you have about uh, uh, feedback? Well, let's see. Um, here, here's what uh, these were the, the most frequently asked questions. It says, my trading partner won't leave me feedback. What should I do? 
It says if you're successfully completed a transaction with another eBay member and they haven't left you feedback, it's fine to send a message as a reminder. Remember, though, leaving feedback is completely voluntary. So you got to remember now, that. eBay is suggesting that, but here's what I say. Don't poke a sleeping bear. I agree. I know. You know, I, and again, I get it. You <laughs> newbies, I get it. You want to yeah. get feedback. Look, I got, I'm closing in on 20,000, but I've been doing this for 21 years. I've gotten probably 10 times more transactions than I have feedback. But it's when you go, hey, uh, hi, hi, can you leave me a feedback? That's when they're like, you know what? I didn't like your shipping too well. I didn't like this. I didn't like that. But because they were going to let it lie, I had a bad lift uh, ride a couple of weeks ago. And I was going to just let it lie. And he uh, basically demanded that I don't tell on him. Wow. Three times. Mm -hmm. And so by the third time, I'm like, we're not having this conversation anymore. And not only did I leave appropriate feedback, I actually reached out to the company directly. Had he just shut his mouth. You would have been okay. I probably would, by the time I got around to no. it, I probably would just let it, let it gone. Don't poke sleeping bear. I agree. All right. Next one is I received negative feedback that I didn't think is fair. What can I do? And they're suggesting you can re was it okay? You can respond to the feedback and, and tell your side of the story. As a seller, you can also send a limited number of requests for buyers to revise their feedback. Or sometimes, you know, just call eBay. <laughs> he is right? now an Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. All right. So here's the deal. Uh, yeah. We did, talk, I think we talked about this in one of the shows a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. but they made people didn't know you could reply to feedback because it was kind of hidden. Now it's right yeah. here. Right. Uh, so. I'm going to reply to this awesome feedback I got on my Tiki mug. Oh, once I sign in, I'll try that again. I'll reply to this awesome feedback. Uh, thanks so much for the wonderful feedback. I hope Tiki mug brings you endless years of joy. That's now, cool. Uh, here's where you don't want to do this. Send that. And then boom, it's right there. Now, if you get a negative or a neutral and you feel that you can get rid of it, don't reply. Because once you reply, it's pretty much locked in at that point. Yeah. Try and get it removed. If it won't get removed, I would reply to every negative and neutral you get, but don't fight with them. Don't make it personal. Pretend, don't even, don't even think about that person anymore. What you think about is your potential customers in the future. I look at every place we go to eat and stay on TripAdvisor, Yelp, Google Reviews, and I don't care if a business has a negative. The best three-star Michelin restaurant has an unhappy customer at some point. What I do care about is how the management team replies. Yep, exactly. Well, you're a jerk, and I don't want you to ever buy from me again. I will never buy from you. Yeah. I'm so sorry you had an unpleasant sh uh, shopping experience. If I can help out in any way, please reach out. That's what you say. But first, first try and get it expunged. If they right. won't, then you can leave feedback, leave it factual. That is for your future customers, not the current jerk. Right. All right. We got one another one here. It says, I received feedback that violates eBay policies. What should I do? Uh, it says, if a member has violated one of the feedback policies, you can ask us to have it removed. Once we review it, we may remove the entire feedback or just the comment or the rating. Yep. Right. Uh, and Paul, I, I don't ever re reply to positive feedback. Uh, but I just wanted to show that, <clears throat> but it will reply to any negatives or neutrals that don't get expunged. Right. Right. Um, it says, can I change feedback? I left for someone else. In most cases, you can't change feedback once you've left it. However, if you've left negative or neutral feedback for a seller and want to change it to positive feedback, the seller may be able to send you a feedback revision request. If the seller is unable to send a uh, feedback revision request, you can have a clarifying follow-up comment for your original feedback. So. Now, the quickest, easiest way to find that, if you if you need to do it yourself or you need to t help a buyer do it, just Google eBay, eBay feedback revision and then click on it. And I can't even show you any further than this because it says, None of your feedback is eligible for revision, nor would I want to, because all, all I got right now is positives. Right. But that's right. where it would be. That's where it would be. Yeah. <clears throat> and you kind of. Yep. Okay. Excuse me. You kind of hold your their hand going through it, because I got a neutral 
I, I shared it on Thrifty Business a few weeks back. It was kind of warranted, but kind of not. And I was kind of dealing with them. I was taking care of it. And they said, oh, so sorry. Can I, is there a way for me to get rid of that neutral or, or change it to a positive? I said, yeah, but let me, oh yeah, I know. I remember what it was. I told my combined shipping. I forgot to tell my assistant. My assistant missed the fact that three packages were going to the same customer. So we both dropped the ball. And I said, oh my God, so sorry. I explained the whole thing. I forgot to tell my assistant. My assistant didn't pay attention. We both were wrong. Here's a bunch of money back for your shipping. And yeah. she said, oh, that's so very nice of you. Now, had she said that before responding, I would have done the same thing. But I would have done the same thing anyway. I screwed up. Kelly screwed up. So we took care of it. And she said, oh, I'll revise it. And I said, let me let me refund you first. Make sure you're happy. And then if you still want to revise it, then I'll help you. I put it back on her. I didn't want her to do anything she didn't want to do. And I'm not begging for it because I did screw up. Right. But it yeah, worked just, out. She was happy yeah. to revise. If you know, if you just be honest up front. And, you know, things usually work out for the best. Now, I received a nice note. Uh, she didn't leave this in, in the feedback. She sent me uh, a note in uh, my emails. And uh, this was when I sold the uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy toy box. Jason, you remember that great yep, yep. toy box? Okay. She says, hi, Peggy. I just want to let you know I received the toy box. My husband just put it together, and it's perfect. Your instructions were perfect. Aww. Thanks. Thanks to Big Daddy. <laughs> I had the same toy box when I was little, and this means so much to me. You have no idea. Thank you so much. Stay safe and take care, Wendy. So isn't that nice? I mean, that's kind of what makes selling on eBay so wonderful. I mean, I enjoy what I do, but when you get the, those notes, those special notes from people, it's it really kind of hits you in the old little ticker there, Aww. you know? <laughs> yep. Yep. That's a good one, Rick. I like yep. that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll try to see if I had any others that were more yeah. than just generic. Uh, thank you. Uh it's fantastic, very fast, top-notch item. Please with this transaction. Oh, uh, let, me see, let me see if I can find I had a funny one the other day. And I'm seeing a note here from Lori Hargrove, too, Jason, as you look for that. Lori wants to know if we'll teach them about the QR code. I am yep. sure. Yep. I'm sure I'll, be, uh, I'll be doing a whole video just on that. Good. A little, little bit shorter than one of these shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dang it, I don't know how far back it is, but the whole feedback was N slash A, not ap applicable. I'm like, what a weird <laughs> feedback. How could that be? <laughs> they they made it be? positive, but what a weird. <laughs> there, it is. there it is, N slash A. What? How's that a feedback? <laughs> <laughs> he must have been on something. <laughs> but guess what? It's a positive. It's all I care about, really, you know? True, so true. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I like N slash A. Yeah, I've never seen one of those. <laughs> I also got a uh, yo, just two letters. Yo, uh, uh, yo. <laughs> so those are the ones I enjoy because the rest are fine. You know, I yeah. I, uh, I know I'm a good seller. I know I ship well. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what top means. Oh no, that's crazy. I don't know what top means, but uh, yeah. So there yeah. you go. Yeah, drunk feedback is funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you do get a negative uh, or neutral, uh, look, neutrals don't really affect anything. And look, look, in the bottom line, negatives really don't affect anything anyway because right. it's just someone's opinion of you and your, your services. But I understand it's very much nicer to have 100% gleaming clean. I get that. I <laughs> want that too. But don't, don't get upset because if it stays, it stays. Uh, and before you do anything, try to remember what we talked about today. And if not, reach out reach out on the thrifting board, the secret beach, and I'll hold your hand and walk you through it. So that way, hopefully we can try every Avenue. If it doesn't work, yeah. just respond. And then we move on to the next item. Don't spend too much time. Look, try it, but don't spend, you know, right. I've seen people wait on hold for hours to try and expunge a neutral. I'm like, Oh no, 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 no. Right now. Mom's got hundred percent feedback too. Nice. I, uh, yeah, it, uh, it's been there for a little while. I had a, I had one that I had to get to drop off, but you know, Hey, well, nice Scott says, do you think the potential buyers actually read feedback? That's how I am when I'm a shopper. So I just assume everybody is. Although I know they're not. A lot of people don't pay attention, but I do. If I'm yeah. going to buy something, I look at I look at their feedback and uh, um, I look at the feedback they've left too. Right. right. That, that, that tells a lot too. That's when I'm a yeah. buyer. When, when yeah. someone 
a top seller. Yeah, I guess so, Deb. Could have been. Uh, when someone's buying from me, when they're giving me an offer, I don't go look at their feedback. I see people do that all the time on other Facebook groups. I'm like, what a colossal waste of time. Correct. Colossal. My goodness. My goodness. Yep, there it is. Kelly Girl reads feedback. So do I. And uh, like yeah. I said, I just want to see how they react to their negatives, if they have any. And I want to see how they treat their other, their other transaction partners. Right, exactly. Yeah, there exactly. you go. Okay. All right. Nicole's 100% too. Yay! Yay! Awesome. And yeah, look, uh, anything under 100% is not bad. No, me. no. I was no. at 98 point something for a while. So, you know, hey, I'm sure the majority of us are doing just fine. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, uh, that it? Yeah. Yeah. We're we good. We're good. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's go to some great pictures because I definitely, uh, pulled out a good one this week. All right. All right. First <laughs> off, or each week we have cute and or fun and or embarrassing photos of us in our youth. And we'll start with that's my mama. Yeah, this is really my youth. I'm three year old, three years old here. <laughs> this is when we lived in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, and uh, before we moved out to the country to Chardon. And I'm there with my cousin, who's a year older than I. It, it, I'm thinking this could have been Easter because we're all dressed up in our, our our good coats, and I've got a hat on, Jason. If you can show my head, Mom's got a little hat oops, on oops, there. Oops, hold on. And um, and you this, do? yeah, I think that's a hat on my head there, isn't it? Something, or is it just a shadow? Because I used or, to have this cute little sailor type hat that I can remember my mom putting on me. Um, but anyways, that swing was my favorite thing to do that was out in our backyard. And it, as you can see, it's an old wooden swing. And I, I can remember as a child, I thought it was gigantic. And now that I look at it as an adult and it's just, you know, average size swing. Uh, I think my, my, my cousin and I both have on our high top shoes and uh, this is 1946, so I'm three years old in June. June 1st, actually, my mom wrote on here. So that's that's going back a couple of years. <laughs> All right. I didn't go that far back for this week's Mama's Boy. Rick Rick likes your coat. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, but uh, this was probably 24 years ago. Uh-oh. Mardi Gras. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And huh? yes, uh, my beard matches my wig. Yep. <laughs> Look at that little dinky beard. <laughs> yeah, little dinky beard. Uh, it's dyed purplish pink. And uh, that was my buddy Art from high school and his first wife, Trista. Yep. <clears throat> and we were down uh, in New Orleans the week right before the week of Fat Tuesday. So, you know, busy and fun, but not crazy. Yeah. yeah. We could still move around the city. And I'll tell you the best thing we did that week, the best parade we ever saw, it was the parade of uh, do dogs mainly, but anyone's pets. Oh, so uh, it was, we just sat there and drank beer and watched the cutest pets go by all dressed up. And uh, they had their own little tiny of floats for them. And that was a ton of fun. So hey, uh, cute. we were, uh, I wore this wig on the Southwest plane down there. <laughs> And that's back when, if you remember Southwest Plains, the first two rows faced each other. Yes, so the I do. Us, six seats, the four of us sat in those seats. <laughs> and, uh, everyone just kind of looked at me as they walked by with my pink <laughs> wig on. And then the stewardess goes, can I try your wig on? Uh, <laughs> I said, excuse me. And uh, I also had a blue one, so I pulled that out. So two flight tents were running around wearing my wigs uh, pre-9-11 when things were just crazy. I'm I know. When it was fun. <laughs> I know. I know. Yes, Barkus. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh, you know what? I don't even know how many we have consumed because I'm not exactly sure where this is. I can see we just got fresh uh, rum yeah. and cokes right in front of us there, but I'm not exactly sure where this is. And I'm guessing that's a giant camera or video bag. That's how long ago this was. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, good times in New Orleans. Oh, always. Always, never a dull moment there. That's for sure. Oh, okay. whoops. nope, not yet, not yet. Hold on. Nope, not quite. Okay. Housekeeping, okay. <laughs> All right. I just realized today was day number four in a row on YouTube. <sighs> for those of you in the Secret Beach, it's day number five tomorrow. Then I'm, I'll be done for a while. So you don't have to hear me no more. Uh, Bunny Wilk is our store review tomorrow night, 8 o'clock East Coast, 5 o'clock on the West Coast. Cool. So tune in to see Bunny's store. And... 
Uh, no show next Thursday because uh, as life starts to open up a smidge, I am speaking at a Tiki event in Phoenix. I am giving a speech all about the uh, the connection of the Chicago mob with uh, Tiki in its infancy. Tiki basically grew because of the Chicago mob. It's a weird story, and that's what I am talking about next week. So I'll be actually at the time of our show. Usually, I already be in Arizona. Uh, so if you did not watch uh, Ask Jason anything oh, from uh, Thursday, we ended up doing about two hours, I think. Uh, answered a lot of fun questions, a lot of important questions. So go back and check that out. And if you were with us last night, oh, I did good. share an amazing uh, music hall from Amoeba Records where uh, I spent a couple thousand or I spent twelve hundred and sixty three dollars. I'm going to make a couple thousand in profit off of that. So uh, if you uh, haven't seen either of those, watch one of those on Thursday. It'll be like we're live. Now, yeah. if you do watch one of those, <clears throat> got a question or comment, leave it down below. I respond uh, to all of them. So check those shows out when you get a chance. And we're not sure if we're going to be on next week. It's going to be depend on how dad's feeling. Right, right. So it depends on how my week goes, everyone. And, um, you know, if I have any time to squeak out a sourcing trip or not or whatever. But we'll keep you posted. Oh, thanks, Tina. I'm glad you liked the Thursday show. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It like I, I, You know, every show I get done, I'm like, oh. All right, because it's a lot of work, you know, doing the shows, and and I do, do enjoy the shows. But even though that one, I talked a lot, a lot. Yeah, uh, I got done, and I was like, oh, that was a lot of fun. It was great to see it. The questions were fun because they range from silly and ridiculous to very important, and in between, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, so, no, it was a good show, real good show. Yeah, uh, that was all Debbie's doing, and we're gonna do it probably once a quarter now. Cool. All right, Peg scores. All right, let's jump into it. All right, number one. What is this creepy ass doll? That's Shirley Temple. Yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I had bought a, a few dolls at a garage sale quite a while ago. She, she didn't sell very fast. I was quite surprised that I didn't get rid of her quicker. Um, but she was only, a, what did I pay for? A dollar. So, you know, um, and I sold it for the $24.99. So when I saw that come through, I was ecstatic because probably two years, maybe more, Jason. I mean, I can see exactly where I bought these dolls. They were down in the, it was a basement garage sale. So, you know, so not as I don't know if I would say rush out and get it, but it did eventually sell and I made yeah. nice, nice money, you know, so you never know. Scare, nope. scare okay. the children. All right. This, this, this I got a nice, oh, I, I should have copied this, but I got nice feedback from this gentleman. Uh, when he bought these, oh, uh, these were, these were a quarter each. So 75 cents. And I did take a best offer of 25 on these, uh, everybody. These are, you know, vintage lawn uh, ornaments uh, for decoration out in your yard. And I do have a, I have a couple more sets left. Well, I think one, I think they're more of a Christmas time, but they sold well. But the gentleman wrote me and he, because dad and I, you know, dad and I try and ship out on the same day. That That's how we kind of do it here. So what we did is we took this the the uh, wooden stems and uh, unscrewed the things and turned them the other way so I wouldn't have to you know include all that length uh, in the shipping uh, amount and um, he got them a few days ahead of time and he sent me a nice feedback and he said you know thank you so much for the fast shipping we actually got to enjoy them a few days you know, prior to Easter uh, and the egg hunts because he when he bought them I said oh I don't know if these are going to make it in time for Easter that's how close he was. But he did. So that was kind of nice. It's always nice to hear us that kind of stuff. Okay. Are we back to the doll? Look, clowns are fine. This doll is frightening. <laughs> it's not the best Shirley Temple doll I've ever seen. Look That's at this. Sure. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay. This was that Nicanora pajama set that I, I showed you guys a few weeks ago. Uh, where there were two different sizes. You know, the, the, uh, the, the uh, uh, top was a small and the bottom was a medium. Well, I sold it for full price, everybody. I paid uh, three bucks for it and sold it for the $22.95. So the, the key here is don't be afraid to buy them, even though the sizes don't match. We have a lot of people that, you know, are different sizes on the top and the bottom. So don't don't pass those up. That's my tip for the day for you guys. Okay. So that went well. Oh, I've got a fuzz here. Okay. Uh, this turned out to do uh, really well. Remember, we bought the girl and the matador. Uh, the girl's got the red veil on. And uh, we paid for the pair, we paid $35. So nice. he, he cost me $17.50. I took a best offer of $125. So that was really good. I really liked that one. Okay. Now this I've had, 
for maybe five years, Chase. And it was one of those back in the inventory day when I was doing inventory and it had dropped off, you know. And so I relisted it and I had and still had the price thing or the price tag on it. And I paid two bucks for that blouse and it sold for full price of $29.99 almost instantly after I listed it. You know, there was, it was on for years and years and then it dropped off and then it came back. So you never know, folks. Well, right? this could be part of the problem. This is your opening picture. Well, you know, Jason, I looked at that and I and I went back to it. And I said, well, I, but, but but when I go into where it, it's it, it, my number one picture is not that. Hmm. Well, that's, reason, what I, that's what I see. I know that I, for some reason it, I had, you know, not that one, but the other one, you know, the ones that I always do from the waist up. And and I, I went back and said, what's the matter with this picture? And I went back and looked at it and I said, well, it's still showing that as my number one picture. Why it pulled that one up, I have no idea. That's weird. I know, because mommy checked that. And I showed this not too long ago. I picked up this uh, vintage uh, a towel and washcloth from Florida with the hibiscus flowers on it uh, that I paid 50 cents for and took a best offer of $18. Okay. All right, Jam's World. Uh, I haven't had this stuff. First set I've found in a long, long time, you guys. Don't pass up Jam's World. I mean, they are always good sellers if you can find them cheap enough. I did uh, pay $4 for the set and took a best offer of $52. So that was good. Nice. Yeah. Uh, was it a dark day when you took these pictures? Yeah. You know, Jason, I, I don't know what happened there. Why the light? Yeah. Because yeah, it's weird hard how hard. dark it is by the legs. Yeah. I, not, not, uh, not good there for sure. I agree. Okay, finally, uh, I have had a lot of inquiries on this gold hamper. Uh, we bought this down in this cute little secondhand store in Hartville, and we've done real well. Remember the uh, the yellow uh, cart, uh, metal cart that we sold, Jason? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it came from the same place. She's got a lot of good vintage things, and we pop in there occasionally. And we paid $16 for the, the hamper. It, of course, went to California. <laughs> you know, so, you know, we, we did our due diligence and sent it FedEx home delivery. So the, the shipping wasn't that awful. Uh, so we paid $16, you guys, and I took a best offer of $89.99 on that. So, and you know, it was in really nice condition. The only thing, I had a little bit of stain like you saw on the inside of the lid. Other than that, it was pretty clean. Pretty clean. Yeah, another, right, Marissa? <laughs> we can see my haul. Okay. All right. All right. So okay. before, so. before we, let me tell the story about this thing. Okay. So in the mornings, I do the three S's shower, shave, and you can figure out the third S. <laughs> so while I'm doing one of those, the FaceTime rings and it's mom. And of course, I'm not going to answer at this moment. So I don't. And then immediately, I'm doing another one of those. And the FaceTime rings again, and it's been seven minutes. And I, mom knows I call her back. Yeah. And so I go over there, butt naked, and I, I call her back. I go, what's the matter? F figuring my father has fallen. They're on their way to the hospital. Something's got to be wrong for mom to FaceTime me twice in seven minutes. And she goes, I saw the terrine. <laughs> I go, that's it? Yes. That's what we're doing two FaceTimes? I was so excited. Minutes. Well, I mean, recall, granted, it's a kick-ass return, but oh, yeah. still, don't do that when you guys are old and elderly and sick. <laughs> now you know how parents feel when you kids are are giving us our times. <laughs> oh. But if you recall, you guys, when I showed this on the show, <laughs> I, I I started out by saying this is the most money I've ever spent on an item, uh, uh, because it is, and. Um, because uh, back when I bought the bar, I only paid a hundred dollars for it, and we paid one hundred forty nine, uh, one forty nine ninety nine for the soup tureen. Uh, so you know, I said, "Oh my goodness gracious!" You know, do I do this? But you know, in my research quickly uh, on the Fitz and Floyd, the lady that bought it lived in Canada, and she says, "Will you ship to Canada?" So we I went through the pricing with her, and gave her, she ended up putting out another fifty three dollars in shipping. Everyone. And up to Canada it went. I got the full asking price of the three ninety nine. So for my hundred forty seven or hundred forty nine dollar, well, one hundred fifty buck investment, nice return. So don't be afraid to spend big money, as Jason has said many times. <laughs> you know, yeah. So that that ended well. That ended well. So I was excited about that. Look, all our parents call us, but when when your dad's in between two surgeries for his back and the weather's right. crappy, <laughs> that's where my head goes. Oh my God, seven minutes apart. There's got to be something wrong. 
No, I was just so excited. And I was especially excited because they, they bought it for full price. Hell, I would have sold it at a, you know, at an ask, uh, an offer that was decent had, had she done that. But, but she, she said this was going to be a, a Mother's Day gift. So, you know. To so, no, no, to her, oh, okay. I, 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 no. <laughs> oh golly! So yeah, that was a ballsy purchase for me because you know it's a far cry from my quarters. That's for sure, everybody. But you know, hey, I, 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 Fitz and Floyd. You know, Jason. I think I've got one piece left of Fitz and Floyd. So Fitz nice. and Floyd. It's always a good mover, everybody. So when you guys are out there doing your, oh yes, I, I was excited for my mom, uh, but it just made me worry. <laughs> Look, any yeah. other time I would have been just answering normally, right? So right, it wouldn't have exactly. even been a thing. Yeah, I just I, I, I got concerned. Okay, okay. Karen wants to know how we pack that um, individually, very we, carefully. But it, yeah. wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I do have a rim shot. Hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me say that again, very carefully. Um, and thank you. <laughs> the platter we put, you know, we of course we wrapped in, in in bubble, and then we put that in a box, and we put everything almost in another box before we put it in the big box, you know, so everything was really cushioned and well, and um, you know, because it has, uh, you know, had that the, the 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 ladle, you know, so you had to be really careful with that. So we we wrapped every piece individually and boxed it almost in everything individually, you guys, and we had a lot of foam rubber in there, and you know, took every precaution that we we could possibly take. So. That's how oh, you know the answer. She still doesn't know we do a show every oh. week. But you know what, Jason? He had this packed. I had gone out for the day. He had it packed up by the time I got home. So well, I, we know I, the answer. Yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, don't get me in the trouble. <laughs> we know. We know. <laughs> All right. What'd you find? Right. Week, okay. Let's uh, <laughs> see. Ginny's still here. Ginny, I got some Christmas ornaments. Let's see here. Woohoo. Yep. Ginny's okay. still here. All right. So, um, this first one is hand decorated glass ornaments. Okay. Nice. I like these because they're in the box and they're bells. Now, for this particular one, the bells, um, I paid a dollar for the box and I, I'm thinking around 17 to 20 bucks. Jenny, if you think I needed up these prices at all, let me know. But that's roughly what I saw on that. It, then, it's, it's so warm, I had to turn the ceiling fan on. Oh, get out. <laughs> then I've got three, these three boxes that I paid a dollar and a quarter for the three boxes. This is Christmas Ornaments by Krebs. There's this one. There's I, that I like one. Rick's idea. Get a nanny cam in the packing area. You know, that's not a bad idea. We might have to do that. We, we, we can do it like uh, Crikey. Let's watch Big Daddy yes. pack the soup terrain. I, I like that. So is he going to get the ladle in? Yeah, I'm going to put. I'm going to list the, the three boxes for around 20 bucks or so. What was the brand on the... Brand? Uh, okay, this one here is Christmas by Krebs. For the three, it says hand decorated glass with crowns on these three, Jenny. Okay. And the other one, it just says glass ornaments, hand decorated glass ornaments, no particular brand name. So I wish I could give you more information, but there isn't any on those. Okay. All right. Now. I'm going to stick with ornaments because we, we sold that last batch of ornaments that mom bought. We did really, really well on those. Okay. Yeah. I've, I've already got my uh, uh, unseasonably sold for this. Well, not next week because I'm off, but the week after. So, yep. <laughs> Christmas is selling all year round. All right. Now, these, I'm going to sell all these four together. These are pretty early. Uh, these are miniature Christmas bulbs. And the box does say, let me see if this is one that will show it. Yeah. See, the box says Japan, Jace. Cool. Oops, there it is. So there's four boxes of these little mini ones right here. So there's a dozen in each box. Mini ones. Yeah, just the mini ones. And let's see, mini ornaments, small boxes. I paid $1.75 for the four, and I think I'm going to list those for around 35 bucks. okay, on the ornaments there. And then the last box of ornaments. Look at, the, look at these boxes. This is shiny bright. Ooh, look at that. Nice box. I know. I know. Nice box. And in fact, the guy couldn't find, made in Japan sweet. Thanks, Jenny. Um, the guys couldn't find the lid and couldn't find the lid. And I looked under his table and I said, there it is under your table. <laughs> so I was glad. But these are pretty cool. Look at those. Don't don't drop them. I know. I know. So there's a, there's a dozen there. But uh, I love the shape on these old timers, you know. They're those really, are very really, cool. Really cool. Where did you find these, Mom? Okay, these are found at Hartville. Uh, they, they were having a little um, 
indoor type flea market and this gentleman had these ornaments there and the bell-shaped ones are around 20 bucks or so maybe maybe 25 these are these are i like it because i've got the box you know what i mean okay all right well i bought a bra i haven't bought a bra in a long time jace it's not that huge it's a 36 double d but i like the print i thought it was quite pretty and lacy yep. you know and it's got the lace in the back and it was a uh, dollar day at the at the uh, store, so I paid a buck for this. And is it that is the new tag or the thrift store tag? That's the thrift store tag. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I paid a buck and a half. Excuse me, it was three dollars. I paid a buck and a half. This is a Victoria's Secret pink, um, you know, thing, and it's got it's nice. It's nice with too. It's got the adjustable, uh, you know, thing here. You can slide in the back, so that's kind of nice. So this is around thirty four ninety five from what I could see on my my re, re, my research, Jace. It's on the nice. box. Yeah. So not too bad. Now, your father picked these up. <laughs> Holy Toledo. You need some shoes, size 15. What size you wear, Jace? 13. 13. Well, these are a 15W, brand new Dockers. I mean, these are really, you know, never worn. Uh, they had 25 on them. We got them for $12.50. And I'm going to list these for $59.99. Brand new. I, I think the size might help because it's, you know, one of those unusual sizes. So well, plus it's wide too. I and mean, that's what happens when we get uh, right. the bigger, bigger yeah, feet. Exactly. Okay. Then we went to an estate sale a couple of weeks ago. Well, longer than a couple of weeks ago, but I picked up a couple of compacts. I haven't found any compacts that I like in a long, long time. Um, this is an Estee Lauder with the tortoise shell on the top. I thought it was quite pretty. Uh, they had 20 bucks on it. We got it for 10 and let me show you inside it's got the you know little little patty thing going on here and the powder and never used never used so that's that's kind of nice you know guys and the color is called french porcelain in case anybody wants to know ooh. And, that, ooh, and it uh she had it in this bag but i don't think it goes in that bag because it's not an sd lager bag so this particular compact i'm going to I bought it for 10 bucks. I'm going to list this for around $34.95 on that compact. Okay. Now, this is a compact, Jason. Look at the cat. Wow. Okay. Now, you had 45 bucks on this one, but we, we got them down to 20 Um, And I'm going to probably list this for around $45 to $50. But again, the stuff inside has never been used. Wow. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's you know, quite unique. I've never, and it's, it's also, um, I think this, oh, good God, the tiny print. I can't even see it with my glasses on, for God's sakes. This is, it's also SD Lauder, and it's called White Linen. So, if you can see that cute little So, cat. Ginny says, is that a perfume compact? Yes, Ginny, it is. Yes, it is. So, that's something different. I mean, you know, I just have never run across that, but it is perfume. It's not powder. Correct. Correct. Okay. All right. Also, at that same... <clears throat> um, so we found this Elgin clock. Nice. This is vintage 1980s. Oh, Seiko. Seiko. I mean, not, not Elgin. Uh, <laughs> it's the alarm clock making up stuff now. Yeah, I know. It glow. It has the glow light. Uh, we paid five bucks for this, and we're going to list this for thirty nine ninety nine. Everybody. Okay. So. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, always look for that. Now, pick this up, Jace, only because it was a dollar. You know. It's uh, not 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 one of the earth shattering. Yeah, ones, Trader right? Dicks, you know, yeah. very common. You know, I mean, maybe I get 10, 12 bucks out of it. You know, I've got our cheeky event coming up, so I needed some, you know, some filler. Some, some filler, exactly. Now look at this. This is the same estate sale. I I have never seen any of these until that estate sale. I look, I kept looking at it, looking at it, and I said, "What in the heck is that?" I says, "Can't be a mug." You know, I wouldn't think it was a mug. I said, but it sure is different. Well, then I turned it over, and on the bottom, I don't think you guys will be able to see that. No, not really. Okay, this is known as a Wade Guggle Jug, G-U-G-G-L-E, Guggle Jug, okay? Fish picture. Now, there's uh, as, as I did my research, I found the, a lot of in solid colors and, and then also in the multicolor, and we paid five bucks for this, you guys, and I'm going to list this for $45. So, nice. Yeah, keep you posted on that. Then, <clears throat> how many times have I said, always I'll buy I'll never buy big again. Oh, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've always <laughs> said to you guys, don't pass up oyster plates, okay? 
We found this when we were in Maryland, Jason, when we went nice. down to, to the antique malls. Now, what's nice about this one, everybody, besides being beautifully hand painted, uh, it is made in Germany, and that is stamped on the uh, back of it. Uh, I did pay sixteen dollars for this, but I'm going to be listing this little baby for one hundred and forty nine bucks. Everybody, oyster place, especially decorated like this, bring us some very nice money. So I'll keep you posted. By the way, out. that that, that picture makes that sound. That's why it's called the. Uh... The gurgle picture or whatever. Oh, that oh the, the gurgle thing? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I mean, you know, like I say, it's brand new to mom. I, I, I had not known that. Okay. Let me um let me do this. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Vinny's head's gonna explode today. <laughs> okay, so this uh was at a, a, a house sale that we went to. And this is by that Jemmy, G-E-M-M-Y, Jemmy. Yep. Uh, Jemmy Snow Globe, you guys, I paid five bucks for it. I'm going to list this one for $34.95. And, of course, I will be doing my video that I am doing oh, yeah. really good at. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you just can't uh, yeah. mess that up. Okay. All right. Um, then we went to a sale yesterday. I'm only going to show a couple items from yesterday. But we found this gorgeous tiki. I didn't say not yesterday, Friday, Friday. Yeah, we went yep. on Friday. And uh, no, no marking or anything on the bottom. But Dad cleaned it all up. And doesn't he look good, Jason? Yeah. Yeah, he really looks good. He was, and he was $8. So if I was to sell this, what do you think, Jace? Uh, hold it back so I can get a better uh, shot okay. of the side. Okay. Yeah. And then give me a turn. Give me a rotation. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, I'd go like uh, you, you're probably going to get around fifty ish for that one. So I probably yeah, listed that's, that's what I thought. Right, for the wood grain is really nice. I know, isn't that pretty? So yeah. for an eight dollar investment, if I was to sell, which you know someday I will, correct? Okay, then Dad picked this up at that sale, and I, I don't know how hot they still are, um, but you know I wish we would have had this back when uh, we were watching the um, uh, Queen's Gamut. Oh, nice. On the chest. So this is a Renaissance chess set, and it's really quite nice. Dad did pay 20 bucks for this, you guys. Let me get the chess board. I want to show you the chess pieces. It's really a nice set. Can you see that? Nice, yeah. Yeah, really nice. And it's got the board, and it's got the, uh, the, the uh, rules and all of that good stuff. So what Dad did, he did all, he, he did the, uh, the research. It's Plastic Men by Arnie, A R N I, felt bottom, the board by Low. Uh, we paid uh, paid the twenty bucks where he said we're going to list this for seventy nine dollars. That's according to your father. Okay, so that's him. And how we doing on time? Okay. Oh, I got one one more thing to show you. All right, cool. And this is my small item coming up. Everybody. Oh, geez, here we go, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to try and turn the... Uh, yeah, computer, yeah. Right? Well, here comes a small item. I have to turn my camera. I know. All right, let me see if I can get a good shot of this. <laughs> it's this chair. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, that's not, that's not too bad because that all folds up. Yeah, it does. And plus, it's got the side panel there, Jace. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Now, this, this chair is called Picnic Time Lawn Chair. And it's, it's in really, really nice condition. They had 10 bucks on it. Uh, and we are going to list this little baby for $99. So, um, yeah, with, with free shipping, Jason, we noticed that the other ones that were listed are offering free shipping. So we're going to go with free shipping and, you know, do our due diligence with, um, uh, with, the, uh, with probably FedEx Home. So there's my last tiny item, everyone. <laughs> Speaking of, if you go, you know, you know the uh, the chairs that you take camping, the ones that fold down, you throw in the little sack over your shoulder, kind of like that. But the the ones are a little bit cheaper, right? The modern versions, because I just had to buy a new one. They have a slot for your cell phone now. Oh yeah. Oh, this is, this is, I should have showed you that on the side of this chair. There's this packet of where you can do your cell phone and drinks and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's got like a little pocket on the side. Yeah, yeah. But, it, but the new ones, it's a it's a rectangular skinny. So you set it in there, but it doesn't go too deep, so you can still see your screen. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh boy, look at that modern technology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. So, 
So that's my goodies for All right, good everybody. scores, good haul. Nice job on the tureen. I'm so glad you were excited to tell me. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry to interrupt you uh, on the toilet. <laughs> it's not that. It was, oh, holy shit, somebody's hurt. Well, of course. Yeah, I know. Because you just we're... told me how dad was mowing and you were... You wanted to strangle oh, I know. him. I know. So, of course, I expected I he was cutting down a limb. And <laughs> I know. I know. And he's fallen three times, you guys, in the last exactly. week. That's the... why you can't do that to I me. Know. I know. At your I advanced know. ages now. So, <sighs> yeah, give us a big old thumbs up. Uh, what a fun show. And, yeah. uh, you know, it goes to show you you're never too old to learn stuff. I didn't realize all of us didn't have automated feedback. So I, I do apologize either. for that. Uh, yeah. But I learned something, just like you guys learned something. And if you don't learn something every day, you're you're not doing it right. You should learn right. something every single day. Could be big, could be small. So uh, do us a favor. Give us a big old thumbs up. 150 of you live. Good to see you all. Thank you oh, very yes. much. Thank Anybody you. new here, uh, thanks for coming. Subscribe. If you do watch after the fact, and there's plenty of you that do, so thank you. Uh, if you've got any questions, comments, you want to buy something from Mom's Hall, leave it down here, yep. and I will be sure to get back to you on that. So don't forget, no show on Thursday for sure. Catch up if you've missed some shows. Uh, not 100% sure about Sunday. It's all going to be to be the less uh, depend on how dad is doing. Yeah, so exactly. exactly. We'll let you know as soon as we know. All right. So okay. uh, hang tight. If you're coming to the Tiki event in Arizona, I'll well, see you on Friday. I wish I was. <laughs> Come learn about how the mob uh, made Tiki what it is today. <laughs> all right. That's it. We're out here for some past your expiration date. Being thrifty over 50. I'm Jay. I'm Peg. Bye, gang. Thanks so much. And we're gone. See ya. Bye. Bye.